Hi, welcome to Big Book System, your best online platform for engineering and architectural tutorial. Please kindly like and subscribe for more helpful tutorial that we make on daily basis. For this class, I'll be discussing about how you can create a concrete fascia. A concrete fascia, sometimes some architect refer to as parapet. Of course, there are different in between the two. Of course, I'll discuss about that when I'm teaching you how to create a parapet. Let me launch my Revit application. Yes, my Revit application. And I have a simple design here that I want to create a concrete fascia for. So, the simple procedure on how you can create a concrete fascia are very easy. To create a concrete fascia, you need two things. You need a profile and you also need a path. The path is the direction through which your concrete fascia is going to follow and the profile is the design of your concrete fascia. So you need these two things. Having had these two things, you are good to go. Let me first hide my roof because it's going to be a disturb to my creation. So let me select the roof. Come to the eye tools here. And you say hide element. That's cool. Now here, yeah, I'm going to start my creation. For you to start with your concrete fascia, you need to go to architecture. Then you look at components. Click on the drop down here. And you can see place a component and model in place. Select model in place. And it gives you access to family categories. The filter list that I'm currently using is architectures. Of course, if you click on this drop down, structure, mechanical, electrical, and piping are part of the filters family category you can have. Of course, if you're creating structural members, mechanical, plumbing, or electrical members. Among all this, of course, you locate something like a uh, roof. You can either select roof as a family category of your concrete fascia, or you can use generic. Generic cut across every types of elements you want to create. Sometimes you're creating an object that doesn't belong to any of this category. So you, of course, you can use generic model. I can either pick roof or pick generic model. Whichever we click OK, it's going to ask me for a name. I can say concrete. Fascia. That's OK. And then you can see that it fit my building away. And it put me access to a creation interface. You can see here I have create, insert, annotate, down to modify. As against the traditions, uh, architectures, structures, and the likes of them like that. So here is a different inter interface entirely. Now I have extrusion, blend, revolve, sweep, sweep blend, and of course we have void. That's not the class for today. I just need sweep to have my concrete. Now I can either create that in this procedure or I can go to my plan view. Let me go to my level 2 to have that created. I'll need to locate where my, you can see that my roof is more like an obstruction to this. But I can see the traces of my building properly. That's not a problem. So I'm going to select sweep solid. And I have access to my modify slash sweep tools. Here, I can either sketch path or pick path. Then, of course, I won't generate or create your path. You need a profile. Mind you, profile, like I explained earlier, can either be an existing profile on your system. Sort of, of course, you can create your own profile. There are simple procedures through which you can create profile. Like if I go to insert here and I say load family, I can see something like profile here. And you can see that I have curtain wall profile, stair profile, rail profile, and of course I have roof profile. All these are profile that you can use. You have framing profile that is for structural engineer. All these are profile that you can use for your designs, creations. Let me maintain my crate and go back to my modifiers last week. I want to use sketch path. If I click on sketch path, it's going to provide me access to generic tools that I can use for my creations. Among all these, I can use pick line as a reference. Then I can start. 
have lines that I use for my walls so I can start with those lines let me take my design to 3d and see if so you can see this uh, wall lines so I'll take my design back and try this level one so that it will not cause any confusion for me so I'll come here then I'm going to pick this point as my first point and you can see that it automatically creates this uh, a kind of a uh, plane that plane is a reference to my design so I'll talk about it along the line of the class so I'll pick the outer one that's cool I'll pick this as well I'll continue picking good 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 I haven't done all that I'm going to use trim stroke extends to corner but before I do that I need to split this place because when it comes to trimming I'll have a problem it's a straight line down but I need to split it in order for this to flush in this direction and this to flush in this direction so I'll come to split with element and I'm going to stay anywhere just click now I've split this so if you look at this now it stop at this point why this also stop at this point so now I can use my trim stroke extends to corner tools so if I select that now I can pick here and there you can see the way it goes it clean this place up it doesn't affect this then I can pick here as well and that's cool let me continue to see this place is joined that's cool I have a nice joint here as well and of course I have a nice joint here as well if I should go to 3d you see where I will be having my creation you can see that now this plane is very essential let me go back to modify slash sweep path then finish because my path it's ready my path is ready it remains my profile so I'm going to click on finish here then of course I need my profile now you can see that here I can click on edit profile or select profile if I click on select profile what is going to happen is that I'm going to look for profile here and you can see variety of profile is there the reason why I'm having this variety of profile is because it's part of my template that I'm using for this job let's assume I don't have any profile here and I want to create my own all I need to do is to perfect this view first by clicking on this front now you must be very careful that particular point where your image plane your plane is displaying your reference plane is displaying so let me perfect my view first which is good and you can see my reference plane now I'm going to click on edit profile it's going to provide me access to creation tools as well you can see now I have access to different creation tools so and I'm, I'm going to use this to start my creation so from this point I'll go up maybe possibly I want to have my Perfect. my concrete fish here at about 300 that's the height that's cool and I want to have this at 300 as well good at 60 40 you can have anything you want to have 60 60 press escape then come here click 60 60 then go and click on the arc tools and then try and pick this point and this point then you can have this simple arc it can be in it can be just normal want to have it as a shape that's cool and you can take it to be normal I can undo that and I can pick this point, pick this point. I can just have something simple like this. And then I will say finish. Now you can see that. Let me just check my this the perspective view again. Now you can see that here I have a path, which is this. You can see this is my path. And this is my profile. So now if I should click on finish for the second time, you can see what happened it automatically creates my concrete fish here I'll be that uh, you can see 
see front view click on escape I can see my concrete fishing now this is just material that is there you can see just what I selected you can always come to material and then just change the material let's just look for something um, Gonna look at, uh, I'm just gonna look at some just 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 input something. Um, okay, just want something plain. You can see that. Now I'm going to come back here and say reset so that the roof can be brought back. Now you can see my roof now. Perfect my view. Now you can see where my roof is appearing. So that's not a big deal. All I need to do is to come to my either of my elevations view. And I can create additional level. Let's finish that because we've not finished. That's why it's not now it's enabled now. Now here I can create additional level by going to architecture levels. Then I'll use the pick line. And I can use this. The stop point of my to create my level um I'll do that I want to create it in that direction you can either okay I can see it's just three hundred I can see yeah that's level three. Let me just drop it somewhere here. Yeah? And you can see my roof. If I just select my roof, is at uh, level two. So I can see my roof should go to level three. And you can see that is at level three. So then there will be a roof offset as well, which is about uh, 600. I guess that's too much. You can see the margin in between that that's additional 300 so you can see if i should take my design back to 3d so you can see that my roof is properly sitting on the my roof is properly sitting on the concrete fascia and that is that about that for this class thanks for watching this week class of course kindly like and subscribe to our youtube channel you get more interesting video class on daily basis. Thanks for watching this video. Thanks from Big Book Systems. Thank you.